Hi, so I'm making a video on how to break in a youth baseball player's glove. All right, so I've been coaching for a few years now, and a lot of times what I see is uh, parents like the new season, new glove, right? And that's great and all. Um, there's nothing kind of like that feeling of a new glove. However, uh, at a young age, it, it becomes hard to use. Um, the gloves will be very stiff, um, very uh, narrow, like this. So they'll come like this, all right? And, and when you put it in a kid's hand, uh, he has a hard time opening it and squeezing it. So the opening part kind of here allows for a bigger pocket, right? And the squeezing allows it to secure the ball when it gets in, all right? So ideally at a young age, so as when you get older, you have uh, different positions. They specialize with different gloves and, and those kind of need to get broken in in a certain way. But at a young age, you really don't need that. Ideally speaking, your their gloves should open wide and close quick and easy for them. They shouldn't have to use a lot of hand strength uh, to get that. Um, it becomes too hard. Uh, if they have to squeeze too hard, it doesn't react as fast. So you'll see balls like kind of pop out because uh, they can't secure it when they catch it in a certain way, all right? So um, this is gonna go over kind of uh, basically how you should do this, all right? So when you get a new glove, um, it usually, you know, comes like this, all right? Uh, uh, what you wanna do is start pressing down on the top, okay? All right, press it down, open it, all right? And then squeeze from this position, okay? Squeeze, all right? Keep doing that, breaking it in, all right? Getting that pocket nice and wide, all right? It's gonna take a, a while for you to do it, all right? Take a ball, all right? I prefer like a weighted ball. This is a waterlogged ball. Uh, you can't really tell, but all right? And you just start throwing it into the pocket, all right? Because now you wanna loosen the pocket up some, all right? Um, once that, once you get just a good, you're squeezing it while you're doing it. And a lot of times, you, you know, your kid could do this, but really uh, it'll help if the adult does it. Uh, we are stronger, generally speaking, to than them, and it would it just go move a lot faster if we do it. All right. Now, um, this will help with the pocket, right? But and it'll help with the squeeze a little. But really, what helps with the squeeze is the heel here. Okay. So this heel, you really want to work it in. Okay. All right. And by doing that, it's kind of like that. All right. And and just working that heel around it, all right? That heel is what allows it to squeeze, okay? Close a little bit easier, all right? Um, the getting the wide is great and all, you know? It gives them a good target, you know? Allows it for a big, basically a big basket. Imagine uh, uh, catching a fish with a, a little net or a big net, and that's, what the, that's kind of what this does, all right? But you want to be able to squeeze it, all right? So that heel, you want to break in, all right? You can use glove oil. I, I really don't. Um, uh, I just just work it, basically. <laughs> um, and you, you get that going like that. And put your hand in it. And then kind of like keep closing this over, all right? All right? Now, some people, they take like a wooden bat and they just start beating it, all right? Um, just getting that leather out, getting it soft. Um, and, and that's fine too, you could do that. I've done that before. Uh, but really you don't need any of that. Um, just need a baseball, your hands, and at the end of the day, that's all I've usually used to be honest. And then I play catch with it a lot, all right? Um, I do this before I ever, it ever becomes a gamer, you know? Uh, you hear that term, uh, is this a gamer? Uh, is this your gamer glove? Uh, I do any of this before it becomes a gamer. When it become when it gets into the, a game, it's got to be you know pretty ready. Especially as a kid, it's got to be fully ready for for your uh, kid uh, because they're just generally not as strong <laughs> as adults. Uh, it, a glove for us uh, adults could be seventy percent broken in, and we could still use it out there, and it wouldn't make too big of a difference. All right, maybe on a diving play if it doesn't close as well, but generally speaking, it won't. But break that heel in, okay? That is key here. All right. The heel of the glove needs to be broken in and, all right? And when it sits, 
it should kind of sit open, all right? Um, yes, these are generally pretty good gloves, you know, but this is my son's glove here, all right? All right, it's just a regular Rawling, uh, nothing special. Um, uh, and see how it just naturally sits open, you know? Uh, that's kind of how it should be. It shouldn't be like this sitting open. No, it should sit open. All right, I don't like to stick my hand all the way in a uh, uh, kid's glove because it stretches out the fingers, but um, it sits open, all right? And I I would work this thing, you know, bring it to work and I would do it, but, um, and get them in a habit. So I brought this helmet in here because usually they have this in their bag, a helmet, all right? When I put my glove, my hel their helmet in the bag, I put, I don't put the glove in like here. I put the glove on top, all right? See how it kind of, keeps that form <laughs> uh that's basically how i kind of keep it open all right um uh and just really s get to going uh there are times where if you want to leave it uh you wrap it up put a ball in it wrap it up all right tie a rope around it real tight all right and i stick it like under t underneath the couch or something and basically i leave it there for a while then i come back to it and i keep it open uh, and I'll leave it on kind of that helmet open, uh, ready, kind of trying to maintain its form. All right. Uh, get a waterlogged ball, a heavy ball allows for a kind of like just more pressure uh, on a short throw like this. Cause you just, all you're doing is like getting it, uh, throwing it in there. A heavier ball just, you know, allows for that and play catch with it before it becomes your gamer. Those are my best, uh, kind of tips for you to break your kid's glove and um get that thing wide all right uh i promise it'll help uh i coach a few years those old wide flimsy gloves uh those kids they they usually kind of like catch better with those than a brand new one but um if you got a brand new one break it in for them all right so hopefully this helps and